good afternoon uh, welcome creative minds i am supriya naika host for your today's session embark on a journey behind the ordinary as we invite you to join our vibrant community for another weekend talk of 128th episode we are not just a group we are dynamic collective of like minded individuals with a thirst of for unconventional knowledge unplug from the traditional and immerse yourself in the world of non textual non academic and non syllabus concept vision of creative is to build constructive thinking on various domain we live stream our program on our youtube channel um, creative gbd uh, of our weekend talks today's topic is on uh, journey through our body in 15 minutes to present this we have eminent speaker dr n m sham sundar sir with us today we welcome you sir and i call uh, nivedita taranya uh, taranya to introduce today's speaker over to you, you Thank you, ma'am. Uh, this is Taranya from Acharya Institute of Technology. A very good afternoon to everybody present in the meeting. I would like to introduce Dr. N M Shamasundar sir for today's meeting. Dr. Na Nano Vinakara Manar Shamasundar sir is a senior professor of anatomy. Worked in the department since thirty six plus years. H O D for sixteen years. He was the dean faculty of biomedical sciences, J S S Academy of Higher Education and Research for five years. He did P U C and B S C, M B B S, M S Anatomy from Mysore Medical College. He established J S S Body Donation Association as the secretary twenty six years ago with highest number of registration of three thousand eight hundred and fourteen and donations of four hundred and ninety seven in the country. First person in India and second person in the world. to design a new technique of dry preservation of specimens called plastinations established plastination museum and conducted training workshops and do dozens of lectures on plastination in medical dental ayurveda and science pg colleges in almost all indian states also developed a large anatomy health museum visited by hundreds of students and public established first depression brain bank in the department could get many project funds from dbt dst rgu hs and jss universities also getting good publications actively organizing medical exhibitions during jss jayanti and jatra celebrations also involved in health education programs in tv radio print media and guest lectures visiting both government and private schools and colleges for talks on human body and common health related problems and preventive measures received more than 185 awards of facilitations himself was in receipt of government of india national merit scholarship during P puc bsc and mbbs courses instituted dr mana krishna memorial gold memor gold medal in the name of his father since 27 years to the students scoring highest marks in anatomy reviewer for phd thesis and project proposals of many universities he had research projects from icmr indo croatian joint project into italian project by dst rgu hs jss aher brahmara trust etc he is a member of international society of plastination best paper award in the international conference at sydney automical society of india karnataka medico legal society mysore grahaka parishad association of biomedical scientists museum Association of India and International Commission of Museums, Karnataka Chapter of Anatomists, Member Ethical Committee, University of Mysore, Fellow of Association Biotechnology and Pharmacy, Specialist Member from Karnataka of DNB. Few of his awards and honors are Best Teacher in Anatomy at JSS Medical College, Mysore, 1995 and 2020, Bharat Jyoti Award by IIFS, New Delhi, Best Program for Teachers National Award, 1998 for UGC Program on Plastination, Indira Gandhi Med Gold Medal by JEPRA. 
ಚೆನ್ನೈ ಲೈಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸಾಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಕ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇನ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಟಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟರ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೈಸೂರು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಫೆಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಸಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮರಾ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ರೀಜನಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕುಪ್ಪಂ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟರ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡೋ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಾನವ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸಾಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಕ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಹೋಯ್ಸಲ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸವಿಗಂಧ ಪತ್ರಿಕಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೋಯ್ಸಲ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸಂಘ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಡೇ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಡೇ ಬೈ ಲಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಾಟರಿ ಕ್ಲಬ್ಸ್ ಒರೇಷನ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಆನ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ ಅನಾಟಮಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನಾಟಮಿ ಐ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ನಾಗಮಂಗಲ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನಿವೇದಿತಾ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಶಲ್ ಐ ಶೇರ್ ದಿಪಿಟಿ ಸರ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಟಿವ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮಿ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಶೋ ಶೇರ್ ಮೈ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂ Ah, yes, madam, I am able to see the PPT. Okay. Hope I am also audible and visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Um, good afternoon, all dear friends. Let us uh, spend about half an hour to look into our own body. Don't be scared. It is our own body. So at the outset, <clears throat> let us see how our body has been designed. Next one, please. Next slide, please. Next one. It is me, Dr. Sham Sundar. I, mean, I was a senior professor of academy and dean. Now I'm into freelance and uh, practice. Next. I'm a, basically, I'm a family physician and in means I practice general practice. My basic concept is your health is in your hands. You don't need to blame anybody for your disease or the health. Today, we'll take up a short course of about uh, 30 to 40 minutes through our body. Since I found a lot of students are there, just have a positive attitude towards our life. I believe in positive attitude because whatever you think is going to happen, good is going to happen. Never have a negative attitude and it's going to really work out whatever dreams you had will definitely come to reality. Next one, please. self confidence is very important always believe that you have the capacity and strength and as well as uh, the other features and always say that i can do it nothing is impossible i can always do it next one please welcome to mysore i am a mysorean the beautiful mysore palace those of you who have not seen this or seen long back i welcome you all please let me know when you drop in i'll try to help you out in going around Mysore. The same Mysore Palace, when seen in a different uh, situation. Next one, please. Looks gorgeous. When the same Mysore Palace is, uh, is lit by thousands of electrical lamps, it looks gorgeous. So my concept is, let us make our um, life beautiful. Let's make our surroundings also as beautiful as possible with a positive attitude and self-confidence. Next one, please. I am from a JSS Medical College, headed by a great Swamiji, and he <clears throat> is one of the best colleges in uh, not only Karnataka, but also in India. We have all facilities of all courses, and we are producing best of the doctors. Next one, please. I believe we must always dream, not a small one, a very big dream. The student should feel, I must get the first rank in the next examination. not only dreaming but you plan it out in what way i can achieve that big dream so once you plan it if not the biggest one at least the next bigger one you will definitely achieve that's what i have practiced in my life next one next one please
Next one, please. Once you plan everything, whatever dreams always come true. You can take the help of your friends, colleagues, family members. Teamwork has got its own importance. Try to achieve it. You definitely achieve it. Have self-confidence. Can I have the next one, please? Can you change over to next slide, please? Is it visible, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, let's uh, dive into our own body. Let's see some important organs present in the body. They're all very interesting. And it's important to know the shape, size, color, and importance of their function. And maybe some words about the common diseases that we get with these important uh, organs. And most, most important is how to prevent the disease. Getting a disease and uh, getting cured is difficult, painful, suffering, and expensive. Whereas if you plan to prevent a disease, it is most uh, excellent one. Right? Next one, please. Teamwork has got its own uh, advantages. Each person in the team contributes a part of it, so we can achieve much more than this. It's just like saying uh, 2 plus 2 is not 4, 2 plus 2 is uh, 5 or 10. So try to have uh, like-minded people and give them the opportunity to, to share their uh, expertise, their uh, talents, their knowledge, their skills. We can always achieve a lot more. Mutually, we learn from each other. Next one, please. So we have a team of people, say senior most to junior most. The younger looking people are all our students, PhD students. They have achieved a lot. They are all abroad now after finishing their PhD. They're in very good posts. The so-called senior looking people are all we, our generations. Of course, we also have tried to achieve something in our life. So teamwork has our own advantages. Try to have a small team of people with the varieties of their knowledges. Next. My area of interest is a structure of the body, which we teach in our medical college called the anatomy. Anatomy deals with the study of the structure of the body. Second important thing that we have undergone a little higher training is pediatric surgery. That means children's surgery. Uh, maybe more than 40 years back or so, I underwent a training in uh, children's surgery in the government hospital in Mysore. I had the privilege of uh, operating on uh, different uh, children during the time of uh, about one and a half years as the residency. It is so interesting and uh, I would say happy, not happy because they have got disease, happy because I can correct their mistake, small little cute children, maybe today morning born, a birth defect, what I put it a little harsh as the manufacturing defect, correct it, tomorrow morning the child smiles at you and says, I'm fine. So there is the advantage of a surgical technique. So since about 40 years, I'm still practicing the children's surgery. We always like to see the children being happy. Next one, please. Incidentally, I'm also uh, running a clinic since uh, 39 years, nearing 40 years in Mysore, and uh, my concept is uh, money should not come in the way of our treatment. So since 40 years, I've been taking only 10 phase, including the medicines, including the injections. I do very, very minor surgeries in my clinic. Uh, I would um, say, I'm happy to say that more than 3,000 surgeries I've done in my clinic since about 40 years. Of course, major, majority of them are very minor surgeries. Little bigger ones, I go to my friend's uh, hospital and do it. And uh, I'm proud also to say that I don't charge anything. Surgeon charges are zero. Whatever little expenditure that you would have inquired, uh, encountered in our medicines or sutures, dressings, only the minimum cost to make because a uh, lot of very, very poor people come to my clinic. So I'm more rather about uh, people who cannot afford or poor for sake of uh, absence of money, a shortage of money, the treatment, particularly surgical treatment should not be postponed. 
So a lot of people come to me from villages. They re uh, refer some other patient who has got a similar problem, both in children and adults, minor surgeries, they bring. So when you operate tomorrow morning, the patient comes back and says, thank you, doctor, I'm fine, with a smile that really uh, brings in uh, more uh, happiness than money. So in that way, my clinic is a little unique one in Mysore. Since about 40 years, I've been doing a general practice. And uh, more than many clinic assumptions that people recognize me as, as a dental piece doctor. So in a way, I'm also happy that I, I got a brand name. Next one, please. So these are the people. They're all uh, below the poverty line, middle people. They have belief. Friendly whole life is uh, dependent on the belief. I have to believe my patients. Patients definitely have to believe me. So only then the things work. So with all the dedication and uh, uh, with my knowledge and skill, I try to uh, treat the patient both the general practice as well as surgery. Uh, some more luckily for me, they're all fine. Now. Next one, please. So I go to a little uh, major surgeries in my friend's hospital if there's a need for anesthesia, general anesthesia, or final anesthesia. There also my charges are zero, only whatever little expenditure we have encountered for surgical techniques, we charge them. So it's most minimum also. Next. Things like this come to me. A baby born with a uh, liquid or a watery liquid in the test is, is a very minor surgery. Unfortunately, for the parents and family members, it looks very scary. Oh, something has gone wrong here. There's a big tumor. Is it cancer? A lot of questions. But believe me, it hardly takes about three minutes. Make a small incision. Babies don't even cry. Talk to them and uh, make some jokes and give some chocolate or something. Uh, under local anesthesia, they don't even feel the pain. Uh, open it up, correct that uh, fluid containing back, stitch it. It hardly takes three to four minutes. I'm happy. Family members are definitely more happy. Child also smiles at me. So like this, uh, hundreds of uh, hydrocele and hernias have done my clinic. I'm very happy about such things so that I could do some corrections uh, which went wrong during the pregnancy or during the childbirth. Next. <clears throat> yeah, the small child had come, a small Muslim child, hardly about uh, three and a half years or so. Both the fingers had fused. The baby was very active and cute. Very cooperative, I should say. I gave an injection. It looked at me and tried to cry. I said, no, no crying. I got a chocolate. So it smiled and it never felt the pain. I separated these two fingers and stitched in front of the baby. Baby was seeing that. It was surprised. What is this fellow going to do? He's cutting my finger and uh, doing some surgery. It was very interesting. Even my students sometimes come to my clinic to observe surgery and learn. So such things can be done. It hardly takes about 10, 15, 20 minutes. So I like doing such surgeries. Just to some social work, we feel happiness. Money is not happiness. Doing something good to others is happiness. Next. Yeah, such uh, children where the mouth, uh, during development of the mouth, during the pregnancy, there's something wrong. So it can be corrected both by local anesthesia as well as general anesthesia. So correct it, make it symmetrical. The baby looks uh, fine and beautiful. If left, uh, as the baby grows, the face may look a little awkward. So at the earliest, we decide to correct it. Next. Yes, this is a little major surgery. The Inside the head, around the brain, inside the brain, there is a liquid known as cerebrospinal fluid, which has accumulated more. So in the operation theater, we try to bypass that and uh, drain the fluid into the other parts like the thorax or abdomen. And uh, if done early, the damage to brain is not much, is going to survive. But if the uh, child is brought late and very late and there are already damages, it may be difficult for us to bring back the brain functions and other things. Uh, and if it's very severe and uh, brain compressions are there, we may even lose the child. So my advice and request to the people is uh, meet the doctor. Do not hesitate, do not be afraid, do not be afraid of anything at all. Try to explain to the situation and the doctors are always helpful and they try to correct the problem and uh, at the earliest and the patient becomes all right. Next one, please. This is called hydrocephalus. Similarly, there are swellings in the back. Again, uh, small swelling from the spinal cord and the coverings of the spinal cord. It is going to be corrected, of course. This needs a general anesthesia also. Such things we operate. And usually, if there is no severe damage to the nervous system, they totally recover and become all right. Next. 
uh, such children are a little difficult to treat. This is called a, and this due to a chromosome Down syndrome. Chromosome 21 is there. There are uh, 23 pairs of chromosome. 21st chromosome instead of being a pair has become three. So there will be a lot of uh, changes in the different parts of the body, like the brain, like the intelligence, the heart, the hearing, the eyesight, and all that. Variable degrees are there, varieties are there. Uh, I don't know whether to say. Fortunately, the baby is uh, the child is always smiling and uh, on its own. But brain damage and intelligence has been severely affected. We try to correct whatever is correctable, and we try to train the not only the child but also the family members. Training is going to make the child much better. Brain development, brain functions improve. But this is a quite a complex issue. Next, we call it Down syndrome, Mongolia. Sometimes a twin child is born. I still remember one of the private hospitals. Till the time of delivery, the baby was babies were all right. Exactly at the time of delivery, I don't know when what went wrong. Suddenly, the both the babies died. They tried to resuscitate, they tried to revive, but unfortunately, they could not. So we got a call saying that Shamsundar, the twin baby, they united chest to chest. It's called a Siamese twins. Uh, if born live, probably definitely the two babies could have been separated with some procedures and all that. Unfortunately. It died at the both of them died at the time of uh, birth. So the parents decided to donate the body to our college. I personally went to the hospital, private hospital, collected it. And this is one of the students. This happened almost 40 years back. One of the students who held the baby, she was also feeling very bad. So cute, smart babies died. Nine months of uh, normal pregnancy, suddenly they died. Yes, next one, please. <coughs> so this is a museum which. Uh, uh, I won't say I established myself and my colleagues have established a, one of the beautiful museums in uh, JSS Medical College. A lot of uh, school children come. I'm sure I can invite all of you also to visit this museum with a small uh, request letter. There are hundreds of specimens. All the different organs in our body are being displayed. Uh, almost every school, 50, 60, 70 children, particularly high school, 9th standard, 10th standard, they've got a curriculum also uh, about uh, human biology. When they see this, they, they feel so happy. What they had seen in the books as a uh, two-dimensional color photograph or a color diagram, they can really see the real organs. They feel happy. Even the science teacher also accompanied them. And uh, it's a routine thing. Every week or 15 days, one or the other schools, not only from Mysore, even from outside Mysore also come. They're most welcome. We'll take you around as a tour. My colleagues are there. They are also help you out. Uh, incidentally, may I mention, uh, one more museum at personal level, along with my other good friends, medical, non-medical engineers, we are establishing, I would say, it's not yet complete, a unique health museum. Uh, I don't find a unique health museum or a health museum in general anywhere in India. So we are trying to establish one where uh, general public and students uh, can have a look at the different specimens, charts, photographs, everything. Uh, of different diseases, normal organs, disease organs, investigations, why the investigations are done, then uh, uh, something about uh, preventive measures, treatments, everything. So it's going, coming up as a very nice one. When you come down to uh, Mysore, please uh, uh, call me. I'm giving my mobile numbers also. Please call me, do visit our museum. It's really a very nice, more than you. I'm happy to have you with us. We'll take you with educate you regarding the health because health is the most important one. Next one, please. Yes, now let's look into our body. Let's uh, become a uh, very, very minute video camera. Let's get into our body, move around the whole human body and look into different organs, how they look like, what their shape, size, and uh, what do they do and what diseases can affect quickly each one of them, maybe a dozen or so, and we'll put. I put the heart in the beginning. Why? I consider, even though every organ is equally important, heart to be most important because there is the one which pumps the blood throughout the body. Blood is the most vital uh, tissue in the body, a liquid in the body, because it supplies oxygen, supplies the nutrients to every, every cell in the body. Without oxygen, without nutrients, the cells cannot survive. Within a few hours or maybe a day, they die. So there's a pump which pumps the blood containing the nutrients, the oxygen, 
the necessary chemicals, you know, even the drugs you consume, everything throughout the body. So heart stops, the person dies. Whereas part of the brain uh, dies, still the person can be alive, what we call the brain dead. The kidneys don't function, they are dying or they're dead, still the person can live for some hour. So other organs can still partially or completely dead, the person can still be alive, but heart, if it stops, blood circulation stops, oxygen supply stops, nutrition stops, and all the organs move. That's why we say when the person dies, heart is going to stop. A great information I would like to carry on to you or pass it on to you. Heart has been designed. People, scientists have calculated the heart, how long the heart can beat or how long the heart can work in our body. If you take care of the heart, I repeat, if you take care of the heart properly with a good food, good oxygen, stress-free, and uh, no infections, no damages, no junk food, balanced diet, heart will take care of you for minimum of 100 years, minimum. You can live for longer. But unfortunately, we have uh, uh, consumed no balanced diet, junk food, roadside food, uh, no control over food, stresses, obesity, overweight, diabetes, hypertension, all these which could have been controlled or prevented and heart naturally, directly or indirectly, suffers and people die earlier. Otherwise, if you take care of the heart, heart is going to take care of you for 100 years. Next one, please. Heart is a muscular pump, pumps the blood 24 hours a day. I may sleep, but heart doesn't sleep. If you sleep, I'm going to permanently sleep. Heart is a fist size organ. 90 to 95% is musculature and it supplies the pure oxygen containing, nutrition containing, vitamin containing blood to all the parts of the body. On the return journey, the blood picks up carbon dioxide, picks up uh, waste materi materials, chemicals, poisonous materials, drugs, and puts it to the kidney for disposal and gives to the lungs for removal of the carbon dioxide. So heart is a wonderful organ and definitely it uh, tries to Maintain our health, with minor changes, it uh, repairs itself. But when the insults are too much, heart is going to die. Next. <clears throat> Next in the list I have put after the heart, I'll come back to the heart a little later, is the nervous system or the computer system, supercomputer, the brain, spinal cord, and uh, dozens of uh, nerves. Yes, are like a computer connected to every every millimeter of our body. It gets information about what's happening outside the body, what's happening inside the body, and calculates a supercomputer what is to be done. Special information of the sight, like a camera, hearing, like a microphone, smell, taste, balance. All these are 24 hours being received by the brain. When my students tell, no, sir, I read everything, but uh, maybe the brain doesn't have a sufficient memory. That's why I'm unable to recall. I tell them, I'm smarter than you. The amount of space, memory space available in the brain, if loaded 24 hours, which is practically not possible, 24 hours with the light, sound, smell, taste, all sensation, 24 hours a day for 200 years, then check how much of a hard disk in our brain is full, how much is empty. It says a lot of... Uh, hard disk in the brain is empty. That means even for 200 years, if you load 24 hours, still it is empty. That means there is so much of a space in the brain. We can uh, always uh, uh, load as much as possible. One thing is we should know how to get it back, right? The image uh, appears to have gone, disappeared. Meeting somebody with the A companion is on. Sir, enable that one, sir. Got it. Just try. Got it, huh? Got it. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, nervous system is a wonderful system which keeps all the systems in a good condition. It's a supercomputer. Part of the brain dies, still one can be alive as long as the heart, lungs and other important uh, functions are doing their work. Small little things may go wrong. But special thing is we think at a, till a particular age or particular stage, brain is going to grow. No, it is plastic in the sense throughout our life, brain is going to grow, change and modify. 
So never think that your learning is over by 20, 25 years. Learning goes on till 100 years, till the last breath of your life. So only way you can become intelligent, you can become a genius, you can, uh, as I told in the earlier, uh, aim for a Nobel Prize is go on learning and learning. More and more you use the brain, more and more efficient becomes. That's what uh, probably uh, Dr. Einstein, Albert Einstein did. Go on analyzing, go on uh, loading the brain with uh, lots of facts. It never says it's good. So nervous system is a wonderful system, coordinates all the organs, all the systems very efficiently. Next one, please. Yes, brain. Next one, please. Yes, about one and a quarter to one and a half kg weight. It's not as hard as this. The person is holding the brain. If you try to hold the brain, it collapses in your hand. It's like a uh, what we call as the uh, soft ice cream or even bende, uh, curds. It collapses. It is not as strong, very, very soft. That's why there is a skull which is protecting it. There is a fluid around the brain called cerebrospinal fluid. And more than that, we advise you to wear the helmet. It is so soft, any strong injuries can uh, splash the brain like a mixing. So be careful about the brain. Brain is going to really take care of the whole system. Next one, please. So this is the uh, brain which I prepared by a different technique. Rot routinely, if you go to the zoology museum or a botany museum or even medical college museums, you see a bottle, plastic or glass bottle. In that there is some specimen, plant, animal or human organs. And around that there is a fluid, clear fluid. Some smell will be there. That's called the formalin, formaldehyde solution. So since my childhood days, I was interested, curious, why to have this liquid? I cannot touch the organ, only cannot touch the specimen. And if I try to touch that the irritating smell liquid is going to be on my hands. Why not do a uh, technique by which no formalin, no liquid, no bottles, no plastic bottles, put it on the table, Touch it, feel the consistency. That was my dream during the high school days. It was a very difficult one. It was a big challenge. Somehow, my dream, I just wanted to see whether I can do it. Uh, maybe it would have taken uh, 15 to 20 years. After I became a doctor, maybe a little more money I had to spend or waste. I don't think it's a waste. Different uh, techniques I tried, a lot of failures. Then I used polymers. When I use polymers, no liquid, no formalin, no irritation, dry preservation. My colleagues and friends were fascinated. Oh, what is this? There's no, it was like a uh, model on a table. It was a real one. I knew, didn't even know that was a new technique with somebody else in Germany was practicing called plastination. Very humbly, I never knew this. The incident, I'll tell you about it a little later. Next one, please. So brain is a wonderful organ. We have a team of people in my medical college, uh, psychiatrists, neurologists, uh, the biochemistry person, uh, molecular biochemistry, computer person, policy medicine, my own uh, uh, department people. A lot of people have got depressions, kinnate. People have depressions, people do not do the work, they don't study, they go to, don't go to work and uh, it's a big problem to them and to the family members. We were interested to see whether any changes are occurring in the brain. We collected the pain uh, from people who died, not the living, died of depression, committed suicide due to depression. Some 56 brains we collected and we tried to analyze the brain. Wonderful results we got. It's not only a social factor, somebody is poor dead, they did not achieve what they wanted and they lost uh, many things and all. It's not the reason. We found a lot of changes, chemical changes in the brain, DNA changes in the brain, uh, trace element changes in the brain, so due to this, the depression got set in with a social factor triggering. People went for depression. Now we have got wonderful drugs, antidepressant drugs, which can totally cure the depression. We can prevent a suicide. My dream was, because of my research, at least one person committing suicide due to depression should be prevented. Yes, we were able to do it. So because of this, I got the international award and the gold medal also incidentally. Next one, please. So collecting the brains, we had to put it into uh, deep refrigerator. Yes, these are the minus 80 deep freezers. Below zero, they goes to minus 80. In this deep freezer, brain retains its uh, all the chemical nature 
in any time we can do the research so we had lot of international uh, grants indo croatia indo italy grants and we could do a lot of work and there is a second uh, brain bank in the world first is in netherlands so it was an honor to us that we could do a lot of work on this depression and it led to a lot of uh, good treatment to the depression people next depression happens to be almost second in the world so that was the honor to me in on behalf of the team next one please next organ i would say after brain and the heart is the lungs which is the wonderful pump providing the oxygen from the atmospheric air into the blood circulating but unfortunately due to air pollution lungs are also getting damaged and most unfortunate thing is see the beautiful lung on the left side uh, yes next one please yes this is the passage looks like a tree the air travels through these lungs yes see the left one is so beautiful pink in color the right one is a cancer people by cancer am i wrong or wrong i am mad yes i mean it people smoke cigarettes bds and others paying money they do not realize every puff of uh, smoke every molecule of nicotine is car carcinogenic cancer producing not only lung every part of the body so why they want to create cancer or by cancer isn't it so prevent one of the number one cancers in men or smokers is lung cancer any other cancer also is possible next one please the air goes <clears throat> from the nose to every part of the lung again it works 24 hours a day every 3 minutes there is a cycle of respiration every millimeter of the lung exchanges carbon dioxide and oxygen next one please yes like a tree the air goes into every millimeter 1 million 10 lakhs alveoli where exchange of oxygen carbon dioxide takes place every 3 seconds 20 times a minute air pollution has spoiled our lungs our health next bacterial viruses also added to the insert yes this is a cast i have prepared from the lungs to show how the air goes into every passage this is silicone cast showing million alveoli from the wind pipe trachea next one please yes there are so many organs in the abdomen yes one by one let's go next the kidneys wonderful housekeeping forces every molecule of un uh, welcome yes like all the poisons and chemicals the drugs as well as the chemicals produced during the different biochemical activities in the body are selectively filtered out and produce a urine wonderful one if it does not work all the garbage will be inside our body but we have to take care not to contaminate or pollute our body so the kidneys will be happy to do minimum work but still kidneys fail we have the dialysis kidney transplant all complications so have a lot of water keep your body healthy input to your body should be safer food control is very much important next kidneys are present in the abdomen uh, bean shape 24 hours they clean the whole body next stomach yes one of the most important organs which you have to take care by your balanced diet don't eat junk food don't go on eating whatever uh, you see this is a dangerous one it goes to stomach you cannot bring it back you cannot vomit also it goes to every part of the body causing damages bacteria virus chemicals junk food yes this is the stomach a wonderful bag starting the digestion and helping our uh, good health in kerala there is a proverb food abala manige roga villa so if you know what to eat what not to eat it will always be healthy next liver a wonderful multiple factory one of kg liver on the right side of the upper abdomen all the thing that you eat passes to the liver through the blood whatever it wants new chemical to be produced blood to be produced uh, growth and development has to take place all that processing is a wonderful food processing factory one of kg of liver any problem here in the liver unfortunately again i blame the alcohol departments people drink alcohol they do not know what uh, happiness they get absolutely there's no meaning in that every drop of alcohol can damage thousands and thousands of cells in the liver damaging it and liver cells are damaged fibrous tissue occurs cirrhosis and unfortunately finally carcinoma cancer of the liver so never even think of alcohol 
if somebody is there please advise them liver is a wonderful organ food process organ it is uh, going to help you in your uh, growth and development and health right next pancreas is another important organ near the liver it helps in digestion digestion of uh, carbohydrates starches and sugars fats proteins everything and also produces insulin insulin is so much necessary for our uh, uh, sugar metabolism or carbohydrate metabolism due to damages due to junk food due to viruses pancreas is damaged a lot of people are getting diabetes unfortunately america china and japan were in the forefront regarding diabetes and the b is of uh, achieving something in a better way we are achieving the number one place in diabetes throughout the world young people 20 25 people age people are getting diabetes without family history so take care of the pancreas so that you will never get diabetes right next cancer of the pancreas is increasing due to junk food uterus an organ present in the women or females which takes care of the growth and development yes this is the uterus small uh, mobile sized organ pea shaped organ takes care of the pregnancy and it like a balloon it enlarges uh, to accommodate the growing baby and at the time of delivery the baby delivers gradually shrinks back to the normal size unfortunately due to viruses due to junk food the uterus is getting a cancer cervix of the uterus getting a cancer uterus itself getting a cancer in addition to breast cancer commonest cancers in women is breast cancer and cervical cancer so luckily there is a virus which has a uh, luckily a vaccine human papilloma virus vaccine is available two doses of vaccine is going to prevent this all the women above the age group of 10 years to whatever age should take these two doses of vaccine which prevents the uh, uterine or uh, cervical cancer breast cancer is also preventable and even if it starts early stages operated can totally cure the problem i have uh, operated uh, very very early stages of breast cancer also even after 20 25 years people women is alive when she says thank you sir i am alive so what a happy thing that is cancer is curable if detected early uh, next one <coughs> bones are of our uh, framework like a building having the pillars and beams they provide a framework next one they provide the strength they give protection and most important thing probably most of us do not know is bones are the factory for production of blood inside the bone there is a space containing a spongy tissue or a pulpy tissue known as bone marrow with the bone marrow that manufactures blood It's without bone no bone marrow no blood no life so bone looks inanimate or dead but that is the one which is keeping us alive inside all the bones there is a factory going on 24 hours a day manufacturing red blood cells white blood cells platelets and other cells so take care of the bones uh, injury to the bones infections of the bone cancers of the bones are all possible but prevention is wonderful not only prevents the damage to bones but also the bone marrow bone marrow cancers blood cancers are also increasing nowadays uh, most of the time it shows towards the junk food next 206 bones are there people uh, are careless during the travel during the working they have a fracture uh, four to six week eight week they are bedded in a lot of uh, social problems financial problems be careful be careful in your skeleton next yes muscles they are the engines of our body there are more than 500 to 600 muscles in the body all of them are working wonderfully to make us move around do all the activities including the muscles of the different organs and most important muscle is the heart muscle itself muscle is so important to keep us uh, alive keep us active and keep all your muscles in a good condition two systems work wonderfully in our body one is the muscle second one is the brain more and more you use it it never gets uh, worn now it might improve that's what the gym says or sports says and neurobic says yes go on using the muscle as much as possible do not sit If you sit, you are going to lose the muscle. If you do not uh, analyze your uh, situations, you do not use the brain. Brain is going to die. So use more and more of muscle and brain. It will become better and better. Next one. Eyes, wonderful video cameras, great video cameras. Twenty-four hours a day. If you load throughout our life, we can record and keep the memory. It never goes out of order. This is a uh, cataract lens. It has become opaque. Now the technology is improved. 
but usually we can uh, put a lens and everything works wonderfully. You can see as you like. Yes, next one, please. Very unfortunately, this uh, I had operated when I was in period surgery department. A three and a half years old boy, baby boy, brought by villagers, typical villagers, innocent villagers. They thought there's a uh, corneal opacification or cataract, and the, the mother begged me, say, please do something to my child. Give the child a sight. But when I saw that, I knew it is not cataract, it is not the corneal opacification. It was yellowish in color. Retinoblastoma, also called the cancer of the eye. Right from the time of birth, the child has got the cancer of the eye. It was so difficult for us to convince the parents of this child. And they will never agree that it is cancer. It's a two, two, three days of counseling, explaining that the uh, eye has been damaged, it does not have sight, proved to them by the child. And we said, if you do not remove this eye, it's going to spread this disease to the other eye also. With all cry and all that, they finally agreed. We removed the eye. If not, we can even uh, proceed towards the brain. So they came for a few weeks of a follow up. The child was uh, nice. Of course, later we loved the follow up. So cancer can be seen along with birth, kidney cancer, eye cancer, so many cancers. Right, next. <coughs> Eye donations are done to transplant the cornea, print the transplant part of it. There's a lot of demand for the eyes after death within six hours. Eyes can be transplanted to two visually impaired, particularly corneal blind people. So we, are, we all register for this. Let our uh, eyes be of some help to people who are living after our death also. Next. Here is another very special sensitive organ. Next one, please. Very, very delicate bones. You know how difficult it is when we do not hear somebody talking to us. They brand us as deaf and all that. So be careful about ear. Let not anything uh, go into the air. You don't try to clean it with uh, uh, sticks and all that. Approach an ENT surgeon or a doctor. They will take care of this. Infections are very dangerous. They can cause deafness. So treatment is available, but nothing to beat a prevention. Next, very delicate bones are there inside the ear. They are very minute. So the, in the screen, it looks so big, but they are all a few millimeters, four to five millimeters sized. Any damage to this, one becomes uh, deaf. Next. Is prepared by plastination, yes. And we also established a small hierarchical bank taking these small bones from a dead body and trying to uh, put it to a person who had the damaged uh, hierarchicals. It was uh, functioning, it was uh, very good because uh, uh, synthetic ones or uh, um, metal ones are very expensive. These do not cause anything at all from a dead body. We could do transplantation. Yes, here the department did it. Next. Yes, biggest problem. India is becoming number one here also, in addition to diabetes, obesity. Next. I'm always scared to see people like this. 80 kgs, 100 kgs. They don't bother about the overweight and obesity. Next. Women, women in no way inferior to men. Not in this. Don't carpet with men in this. Be like slim. Next. In what way children are inferior? Yes, see the fellow Bhima. Somebody has given a career also for him. Foot control, no physical activities, sitting in front of a TV or a mobile. See, the fellows are eating. They don't even know how much they have eaten. So have a foot control on the children. Don't make them food paddies. It's going to invite all the diseases, starting from overweight to obesity to diabetes to hypertension to joint pains up to cancer, stress and cancer. So be careful about overeating and uh, unbalanced diet. Next. <coughs> Next one, please. Endocrine glands, yes, another system of glands system, which coolly in the background controls activity of all the parts of the body. Nervous system controlled by electrical means, where the endocrine glands controlled by hormones, wonderful hormones. Even before birth, every organ development, functioning, everything is controlled, very well balanced. Work. But any change in these endocrine glands, damages, infections, uh, damages due to wrong food, chemicals, drugs, can lead to a lot of complicated diseases. Next one, please. We have nearly one dozen endocrine glands in different parts of the body, almost near the brain, pituitary, uh, pineal, in the neck, thyroid gland, very commonly we see thymus is another uh, training center for lymphocytes. Above the kidney, we have the adrenal glands, pancreas itself is a uh, both exocrine endocrine gland, ovary and testes, so many endocrine glands producing the hormones 
and all these hormones are necessary proper level or balance of the hormone is necessary any increase of hormone or decrease of hormone is dangerous it can cause endocrine problems chronic problems so we investigate try to find out the levels and once it is found we try to treat them it is controllable but never never neglect or delay in the treatment of any disease next we see people like this when we ask them uh, why you not gone to doctor they say there's no problem why they want to wait for the problem i do not know go to the doctor before the problem comes this is a thyroid tumor it may be goiter it may be uh, different types of uh, non cancerous tumors we do not know when unfortunately it becomes cancerous so before it uh, goes beyond the limit get it cured no disease is worth uh, having in our body isn't it next one please see the lady so happy she is bigger than her face her head but still she appears to be quite comfortable next all these are operable they will be cured men are so, not supposed to have the breast or uh, tissue this is a gentleman a dangerous one gynecomastia the breast tissue has developed fat has developed and very unfortunately there is a chances of hormone imbalance and this breast of the male what we call as gynecomastia can become cancerous in fact i operate a lot of these things and as soon as i say uh, see a patient of this 10 minutes 15 minutes i counsel them saying that this is not a thing worth keeping gets a few tests done and operate at the local anesthesia maybe more than a dozen of in my clinic because if we leave it then it can become cancer male breast cancer so explain it to them convincing them and treating them is also our responsibility next one please the pancreas we have seen which uh, secretes hormones enzymes for digestion and sugar control next one please. yes a few words about my last uh, technique of preservation mummification is uh, dry preservation of mummies in egypt uh, 4 to 5000 years back a similar one i also did dry preservation of specimens real specimens they can be handleable they can be operated they can be uh, yes this is the mummy i prepared full nine months uh, old dead baby i prepared people wanted to know how the mummy looks like next one please they are hard nothing can be done we cannot operate we cannot do anything totally hard next yes is the art of uh, dry preservation i won't say it is science but it's both science and art is a dry preservation i take it in my pocket go to the class give it to the students let them touch touch and feel experience is a real one is not a uh model or plastic right next one is a new technique of preservation of biological specimen that means animals human organs animal organs plants everything can be plasmated it is a dry no water no liquids colored original color is almost maintained i won't say 100% almost maintained uh odorless no fine odor no bad smell is all plastics portable i carry in my briefcase maybe 50 plastic specimen i go to lectures in different uh, schools and colleges non irritating people uh, laugh at me samsung is more irritating than this person i take it in a positive way inexpensive so low cost i have done and uh, happy and uh, proud to say that i am the second person in the world and uh, first person in india to do this technique a lot of uh, recognition honors and in this is not uh, my price but i i would like to suggest to the young friends here students here you try to do something special in your life you know we such is not difficult nothing is impossible next one please a few photographs of the plastic specimens once uh, plastic museum established in uh, jss medical the first and the only museum in india next no bottles no formalin no smell in this museum you can touch them yes that's the thing even the blind visually impaired uh, people can uh, come to the museum and learn a lot we have also braille script kept in this next <clears throat> the heart plasmated heart you can cut open you can show the interior you can even show surgery you can suture all this can be done in the plasmated heart because it's real next so this is the thing which i had already shown there is a passage inside the lung silicone cast of the tracheobronchial tree how the air goes into the lung in one second this uh, wonderful uh, piece of art i would say to teach how the lungs looks like in a disease lungs can also be Uh, shown here with this casting technique next if the plants can be plasmated 
we used to have herbarium in our BSc. Herbariums can be prepared. They are permanent. No changes occur. Next. I got the international award as the best paper in uh, Brisbane, Australia, when I presented in the international conference. Next. UGC made a program of uh, 12, uh, 16 minutes, 11 seconds, and we got the national award as best program for teachers. Next. I think 98. Yes. This was the topic, Plastination Art of Immortalizing UGC National Award for the best program for teachers. It was a recognition. We were happy. All the team people were also very happy. Next. So because of something the different I did, something the unusual you do, you'll always be recognized. It was a great honor to be on the cover page of a Taranga weekly magazine, very popular magazine, uh, with a plastic child in my hand. One lakh some 34,000 copies were sold. What a great publicity, isn't it? It's an honor. You also do something, you'll also get recognized. Please, next. A few more slides. Yes, plastated whole bodies can be prepared. Next. Animals can be prepared. Scorpion. I take it in my pocket or a small box, show it to the children. Be careful. It's not a Caps course, primary scores. Next. Yes, snakes, cookery snake, non poisonous snake. Incidentally, that comes to our uh, girls' hostel. One of the girls brought to me. Next. <coughs> yes, this is a rat snake, non poisonous snake. We find a lot of them in our gardens and houses. Next. Yeah, dangerous one. Naja, Naja, cobra. Yes, very dangerous. A frog days to sit in front of a plasmated, not in the real. So all the organs, tumors, everything can be plasmated. Dozens of them have them. Next. A ovary, tumor of the ovary, 15 kg tumor. Contents I removed, plasmated in the outer one. We, I, we use it for education of the people. Try to develop some creativity. Just like a creative people, you also try to develop creativity. Every human being has some... Uh, hobbies, some uh, specialities. Nurture them in addition to your education, do these things. It adds to your personality, adds to your success and happiness. Next. Yes, these are my colleagues. Husband is a cardiac surgeon, wife is a neurologist during the marriage. What a wonderful idea, isn't it? Next. Continue and develop your hobbies. So the children, one child doesn't have a leg and the child doesn't have the arm, but still they are happy, isn't it? Don't worry about small little things. Be happy with whatever you have. Next. Yes, it looks funny probably being a doctor, medical doctor. My hobbies are uh, wonderful. I play music. I play instruments, guitar, mandolin, harmonica. I sing a song. Do something special. Feel happy. Next one. Keeping a few more slides. Last two. Next. I do cooking. I take part in the college uh, cooking competition, not as a competitor, but as a person. Yes, I do all this cooking. When you come to my to my house, I can provide this. In my father's name, who was a veterinary doctor, we have established a gold medal to the student scoring highest mass in my subject of anatomy since 27 years, I think. They are giving a gold medal to the students, some encouragement to the students. They also study well. I want to take more gold medals. That is the encouragement. Because I got a lot of gold medals. I got a lot of awards during my student days. So I should reciprocate. Next. Uh, to spread the news and to learn, I've uh, traveled a few places abroad. And most of the time is for the uh, conferences, international conferences. Next one, please. Yes, behind every woman, successful man, there's a woman. Yes, the woman is a very, very great lady. Next one is my mother. Uh, she died at the age of 93 years, 92 plus years. 
very very active you can see the face the happy and uh, charming face uh, maybe because of the genes and maybe because of the encouragement whatever i am today is because of her. very much a uh, lot of hobbies singing everything so be happy with your parents be happy with your uh, teachers be happy with your friends achieve something wish you all the best thank you for listening uh, for more than an hour or so survey uh, janos of kero bhavantu Uh, hope to see or hope to get a few cards from my dear uh, participants maybe the students or uh, general public to say that my talk had a little motivation small motivation we have achieved something in our life i'd be happy to share your happiness and wish you all the best and hope to see you again if there is a opportunity thank you very much sir can we have a question sir interactive yes, sure, sure. so if there is time available definitely we can have yes sir we can take some questions yes nobody wants to don't ask too any questions? questions don't ask too difficult questions which i may not be able to answer <laughs> <laughs> okay i am unmuting everyone so that you can unmute and ask your questions <clears throat> hello can i ask yes sir yes sir go ahead ah uh, uh, very interesting uh, talk uh, doctor uh, i have several questions uh, maybe i'll ask only a few uh, one of them you talked about junk food can you explain what is what is junk food and secondly technology adv- has advanced so much has it not been possible to uh, build artificial hearts kidneys and other organs these are two of my questions thank you sir you are muted just unmute sir unmute uh doctor ah oh, yes am i audible yes sir yes sir you no. go ahead i request to the person who asked question is to introduce himself so that uh, me and others also will know who you are and ask the question later okay uh his question Thank is you, his question is about junk food yeah what is junk food answer. yeah and secondly uh, is it has it not been possible to build artificial hearts and yes, lungs sir, I, and i heard the question i will answer both the questions yes. these are two questions i was yeah. of course i have several other questions but <laughs> these are two yeah. sir so please answer, introduce yourself also. sir yeah so the answer for the first question regarding the junk food is we call it as a junk because it contains dangerous things junk in our house junk in the road it contains lot of chemicals just to give you a simple example uh people youngsters particularly like to go to the road side the pani puri fellows or the darshinis the color always is attractive the smell is attractive believe me all the chemicals used a low quality non food grade chemicals can you believe the lead oxide which is such a dangerous one used in our floors for putting the lead oxide in our houses nowadays things uh, have come long back we used to have this even in our house we even today have the red oxide chlorine there are deadly poisons such chemicals are used in the food what more i can say this like this lot of chemicals are used because they are cheaper they give a wonderful so called taste and smell now not knowing all these things we consume once it goes beyond our stomach nothing can prevent so it circulates around the, the whole body through the blood and it damages every every organ so lot of diseases particularly we uh, inculcate these things towards the cancer also damages hormonal changes uh, functional uh, malformation so many things so try to avoid that's why it is said in the middle uta balavanige rogavella why you want to eat a junk food go to a good quality hotel prepare yourself i rarely go maybe in a year maybe two three times if i go to the hotel is more than enough because only when i go out of station for uh, lectures conferences i have to inevitably eat the food otherwise i prepare my own food i enjoy doing it when people come to my house as guests or friends i tell them let's for a change have a food in our own house i prepare the food they are so happy they say so delicious why not change that attitude weekends functions festivals we go to the hotels and next day you will land up in the ho- uh, hospital or the clinic saying that we had these things so try to uh, have a good balanced diet second question is lot of technology has been involved 
lot of uh, things have been already come uh, there is a big list is a very big list lot of thing is the total artificial heart is not uh, being a lot of research is being done but total artificial heart is not being done heart pump is there heart lung pump is there artificial valves are being prepared uh, teflon polymers are being used knee joint replacement hip joint replacement lot of uh, metal and uh, polymers are being used even the lens that you put to, after removing the cateracter lens opaque lens is an artificial one is a synthetic one so a lot of polymers lot of uh, uh, metals different types of metals are being used a lot of research work is being done only thing as a medical person i see is there is a need for more interaction between engineers and doctors biomedical engineering engineers field medical field is uh, out of their field doctors say we do not know about technology there is a lot of uh, scope lot of need for biomedical electronics biomedical engineering lot of uh, luckily nowadays lot of research is being done encourage is being done so we can have a lot of uh, good things from the technology side we do not know about technology we doctors where technology people do not know what we need so in that way including artificial intelligence including lot of uh, treatments is there but there is a lot of scope and we are hoping lot of uh, technology is going to be involved in uh, uh, techno- diagnosis when i was a student only x ray and a few uh, special x rays were there there was no ultrasound no ct scan no mri scan no pet scan spectrum so much of technology has come so technology is coming in a very big way helping in our uh, health care and preventive health care hope i have answered your question sir yes yes thank you yes any other question you would like to ask last slide is there my mobile numbers are available you can always uh, message me or ask a question i'll be too happy to answer your question if i know the mm-hmm. answer and i also learn if i don't know the answer definitely i'll learn and get back to you also so discussion and uh, exchange of knowledge is the most important thing nowadays hello good evening sir yeah, tell me please introduce sir, yourself sir i am i am nutan i am working as a teacher in a government oh, very school good. very good in uh, at, at gauri bidnor Uh, first of all uh, i thank you for this uh, very enlightening session sir yes it is an honor to be for me it's a very it's very informative yes. and uh, on my question is sir regarding the big uh, this thing nowadays uh, regarding the cholesterol cholesterol yes cholesterol and they say there are uh, two types of cholesterol i don't know sir you please clarify yes whether I mean, there is good cholesterol and bad co- cholesterol whether it is good there or not cholesterol yes yeah that is there or not and uh, uh, the particularly uh, heart surgeons and heart specialists uh, they suggest not to uh, consume oil and uh, uh, ghee and curd related kind of things but yes. uh, parallelly some uh, ayurvedic kind of uh, uh, they they suggest consuming ghee is good uh, so it's a kind of a, a contrary so Confusion, just a, Uh, it's a general topic i i i fe- felt and you please uh, clarify sir thank yeah. you it appears to be a confusing topic or a complex topic but my answer will be very very simple i'll give an example you are uh, you or your uh, wife or family members or the lady in the house prepares food in a vessel steel vessel right if i prepare a yes, rice cleaning the rice utensil is very easy because it doesn't have any oils or this thing it only contains some uh, stains of rice when i am trying to clean the sambar or any other things which contains oil i curse myself why did i put so much oil yeah yeah come up easily you use uh, whatever soaps and the powders and things like that your hand gets uh, oil right the simple analogy i told now look into this oil fat is very much necessary without oil we are going to die brain has got a lot of fat fat is one of the forms of storage of energy in our body fat is necessary for all the biochemical activities many activities but but minimum quantity ideal quantity fat is necessary in our food also to prepare different types of food preparations but the same in excess is going to cause problems that's what i told you you prepare a, a sambar you prepare different types of dishes you put one spoon half a spoon of ghee oil whatever all of them are good forget about good cholesterol bad cholesterol anything in excess is bad that's all forget about low density 
lipoproteins, high density, all those things are more technical and complex. Not does not bother about it. Small quantity of uh, ghee, small quantity of butter, small quantity of oil is definitely necessary and helpful for our day-to-day -day activities or the biochemical reactions to us. But the same thing, if it is uh, more in our food, naturally like the vessel which has got a coating of oil or the fat, the same thing gets absorbed from the intestines into the blood. Once it goes to the blood, as you are mentioning, it's not only the cardiac uh, specialists or cardiac surgeons, everywhere in the body, all the doctors who are concerned with our body, there is a deposit of oil throughout the blood vessels, arteries. It may be heart blood vessels, coronary arteries. It may be brain blood vessels, cerebral arteries. It may be kidney vessels. It may be eye vessels, any vessel in the body. This is a coating. Unfortunately, we cannot put a soap or a brush or anything to clean those vessels, isn't it? So, the fat easily sticks to the blood vessels. It can even go out of the blood vessels and get deposited in the liver, in the stomach, in the intestines, under the skin, into the skin, inside the abdomen, everywhere. When? Only when the amount of fat is more than necessary. So, have a balanced diet, adequate amount of uh, Sugars and starches are necessary every day. Adequate amount of fats are definitely necessary. Some amount of proteins are definitely necessary. Vitamins and minerals are necessary. You open a penny website. What is the breakfast supposed to be? How much of uh, lunch and dinner? You calculate that little 10% beside this side is excellent. So avoid excessive amount of fat because it's difficult to uh, process or uh, metabolize the fat or processing of the fat compared to the sugars and proteins. So once it goes into the body, very, very difficult to remove it. As I told you the example, cleaning the uh, fatty area, fatty hat. So I hope I made it clear. You eat everything, but in a limited way. Even the Thank sugar you. you eat, if you uh, eat an excess, becomes a poison. You eat more, uh, drink more water, that also can become a water poison. So everything with, within a limit is excellent. Good health. Sir, Namaste. ತರಕಾರಿ ಕೊಡ್ತೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಫ್ರಿಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡಿದ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಏನಪ್ಪಾ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದರ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂಟಿಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಲೋ ಡೌನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನೂ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇವತ್ತು ಬಾಡಿ ತಗೊಂಡು ಒಂದ್ ತಿಂಗಳು ಇಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ತಿನ್ನಕ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಹಾಳಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಟೆಂಪರ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಡೇಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರೋ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ತಿನ್ನಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇನೆ ಫ್ರಿಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಹಾಳಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಖಂಡಿತ ಸುಳ್ಳೋದು ಆ ತರ ಆಗೋ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರುದ್ರಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ What do you mean by fatty liver? What is yes. the remedy for this uh, fatty liver? Just now, I hope, hope you heard my answer regarding the cholesterol and other things asked by one of our good teachers, right? Okay. Anything you consume, you can store oil, fat, or ghee, and store it in the refrigerator. Yes. If you want to eat it, you want to eat it, you want to eat it, you want to eat it. If you want to eat it, you want to eat it, ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಕೆ ಜಿ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆನೋ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಕೆ ಜಿ ತುಪ್ಪನೋ ಏನೋ ತಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರಿಜ್ ಲಿಟ್ರ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಬಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಲೀಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಆಪರೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಕಂಟೈಮಿನೇಟ್ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ರೆಫ್ರಿಜರೇಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ರೆಫ್ರಿಜರೇಟರ್ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ದಿನಾಲು ಎಷ್ಟು ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ಒಂದು ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆ ಕಡೆ ಕಡೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ excessive amount of fat which is not needed every day is going to be stored as fat yelli hobeki fat to under the skin we start becoming overweight obese inside the abdomen there is a uh, organs which need some amount of cushioning some amount of fat adu store agutte adu ne excess adra allu full up aitu nimge sambala bandiddu dud bandiddu saves back lirtira ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಬೇಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಒಣಗಿ ಎಫ್ ಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಟಿ ಡಿ ಆರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಎಂಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಇನ್ನೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮನಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಈಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಟೂ ಮಚ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಚ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪಿಂಗ್ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ ಇನ
as i told you earlier from the stomach from the intestines the food goes to the liver there is a factory ella raw materials go to the factory dump madti ve the liver is the one which takes up whatever is necessary for manufacture different chemicals il hold fat in all sick out the fat to deposit madre and actually it becomes a fatty liver so avoid the fat decrease the amount of fat some amount of fat is also taken out ne kabbanna ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರ ಟನ್ ತಗೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಟನ್ ತಗೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಕಬ್ಬನ್ನ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಹಾಕೋದೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮಿಕ್ಕಿದೆಲ್ಲ ಕೊಡಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಳಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾಳೆಯಿಂದ ತಗೊಂಡು ಹಾಕೋದನ್ನು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಮಾಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಇದೆ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅಪ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಮಿನಿಮೈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಲಿವರ್ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟ್ ಆಗೋದು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಬರುತ್ತೆ and already deposit agide fatty liver agutide anta maga restrict the amount of fat alli barbekalla already neevu stock itkombuttu tiri hosdagi pump madkodre so decrease the amount of fat already there is fat in the liver liver will say okay i got a stock i will release it release fat baruthe so this is as simple as this a question of a balance okay hope i have answered your question thank you sir thank you thank you sir, thank you, sir. sir namaskara namaskara hey madam ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೆ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಟೀನ್ ಏಜ್ ಇಂದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ನವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸೊ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಒಬೆಸಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ and in spite of uh, maintaining all uh, food, uh, diet, fitness, everything, and many of us are Uh, in the uh, age group of say 40 to 60 plus are mm-hmm. under obesity majority oh. what i have seen oh. family family inta heltare idu ondu erane do ni wear and tear of knee cap sir idu sumar ond 50 plus athidanga we are getting that adike oh. some uh, suggest to go for walk and some doctors say not to walk too much so that uh, your uh, knee cap will be maintained uh, oh. your clarification sir thank you first one is about the fat yes sir hereditary tande tayi dappa idare maglu maga dappa aktare definitely okkona genes are there but i see lot of patients appa amma 80 90 no kg irtare maglu nanige sanna irtare so there are two things that we have to understand here any health or disease there are two components one is heredity there is a gene instructions so soft gene instruction second one is environment whatever we are is due to interaction between heredity and environment or gene and environment appa amma dappa idro appa amma diabetes itto appa amma hypertension itto bp itto appa amma cancer itto adu matrike makkalu barbeku anta yavudu rules illa bara chances ide chances high innu irabodu there is right from the childhood days is the lifestyle lifestyle there you no know, food habits so and physical exercises so walk and all that with a small investigation so weight uh, check madodirbodu and kelo blood test irbodu once in a few months and a consultation with the doctor who with whom you got a confidence matte idre kandita maintain madabodu alva these are the simple okay. things second thing regarding the hormones hormone variations also can cause obesity but are the hormones are supposed to be at a particular level iga thyroid hormone irbodu estrogen irbodu pituitary hormones irbodu adrenal gland hormone ibodu adun all of them have to be in a particular level and if the level increases or decreases both the ways the overweight and obesity possibilities are there so nanu bara simple agi idrinda weight kamme agutte nadi 80 ide 60 agutte enna shela kaagalla each uh, person each patient or each individual is unique so we have to analyze in that particular situation our hereditary components are there our lifestyle sagide food habits sagide hormone status sagide anbuttu for a period of time gradually agi madre kandita he be he or she will be healthy and uh, the weight if not to a normal bere illa hodrnu minimum alli kandita irutte so analysis is extremely important regarding the second question is not the knee cap actually it is the knee joint knee cap nu mundgade idu ondo disc thara irudu antara sandi idli thing irutte adrad enu damage aagala illi bere bere stages ide bere bere types ide ನೀ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ ರೈಟಿಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓವರ್ ವೇಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು 
ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಮೂ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಿರ್ಬೋದು ರುಮೆಟಾಯಿಡ್ ಈ ನೀ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇರೋದು ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಆಗಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ನಡೆದ್ರು ಎಷ್ಟು ಓಡಾಡಿದ್ರು ಜಂಪ್ ಹೊಡಿದ್ರು ಏನು ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಎರಡು ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಆ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸಗಳಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ವೇಟ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಆಗಿರೋದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಕೂಟರ್ ಕಾರು ಟೈರ್ಗಳು ಐದು ವರ್ಷ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಜನ ಆರು ಜನ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಳ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಜನ ಹಾಕಿ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ರೂಫ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದಷ್ಟು ಟನ್ ಗಟ್ಟಲೆ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ ಟೈರ್ಗಳು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಐದು ವರ್ಷ ಬರೋ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ನೀ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಬೇರಿಂಗ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಅನ್ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಅನ್ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಆದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ರಫ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಕೆಲವು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನೀವೇ ಹೇಳಿದಂಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಓಡಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡಿ ರಫ್ನೆಸ್ ಇದೀರಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ಹಾಳಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಉಜ್ಜಿ ಉಜ್ಜಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ರಫ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಕೆಲವು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸು ರಫ್ನೆಸ್ ಏನು ಹಾಳಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಇದೆ ಪ್ಲೇಸಿ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದಿ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸು ತುಂಬ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟು ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ನೀವು ಓಡಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೋವು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಡಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಿಡ್ತೀರ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವೀಕರ್ ಈ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ ಥರ ಅಂತಾನೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಹೆಲ್ತಿ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಬೇರೆ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಗೂ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಪೇನ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಹೈಪೋಟ್ರೋಫಿ ಅಥವಾ ಅಟ್ರೋಫಿ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸೇ ಮಾಡದೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಡಿಯೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಥರ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಮೈನರ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜಸ್ ಇದೆ ಓಡಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮೇಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಫಿಸಿಯೋಥೆರಪಿನ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ವಾಕ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಫುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ಸು ಅದರ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಇತ್ತು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇಬ್ಬರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ಸತ್ಯನೇ ಬಟ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಗಿದ್ಯೋ ಆಗಿಲ್ವ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಅವರು ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಇರೋಂಥ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಖಂಡಿತ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಚ್ 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 ಮೋರ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಬರ್ದೇ ಇರೋ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಆಗದೆ ಇರೋ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾಯಿಲೆ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂರಬಲ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಟಿವ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾರ್ಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸ್ಮರಣ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಶ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಶ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅವರ ಹಾ ಸರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸ್ಮರಣ್ ಹಾ ನೋಡಿ ಚಿಕ್ಕೋಡ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇಂಟರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳಿದಾನೆ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಹುಡುಗನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಹಳ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂ
ಗುಡ್ಡಿ ತೋರ್ತಾರೆ ರೋಡ್ಗಳು ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಐ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೇಡಿ ಇನ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಗ್ರೇವ್ ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರಡಿ ಆರಡಿ ತೋರ್ತಾರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಬೆವರ್ ಬರ್ತಿತ್ತ ಕೆಡ್ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಆ ಮೂರಡಿ ಆರಡಿ ಒಂದ್ ಅರ್ಧ ಗಂಟೆ ತೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸಾಯ್ ಅಂದ್ರು ಅಪ್ಪ ಏನ್ರಿ ನೀವು ಅಂತಂದೆ ಅವ್ರ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅವ್ರ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಆರ್ ಇವನ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದನ್ ದನ್ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಡೈಲಿ ರುಟೀನ್ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಕರ್ ಬಟ್ ರೊಟೀನ್ಲಿ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಮೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಮೆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗರ್ ಥಿಕ್ಕರ್ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತೀವಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಹಳ ಪ್ರಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಆರ್ ವುಮನ್ಸ್ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಲೆಂಡರ್ ಥಿನ್ನರ್ ಲೈಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಡೆಲಿಕೇಟ್ ನೇಚರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಹುಡುಗನ್ಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಕಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಪುಷ್ಪಲತಾ ಅಂತ ಸರ್ ಗೌರಿ ಬಿದ್ನೋರಿಂದ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಕಾಲಿನ ಲೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟೇರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಒಬ್ರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನೀವು ಜಂಪ್ ಮಾಡುವ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನನ್ಗೀಗ ಏಜ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಓಡೋದು ಆ ತರದ್ ಏನಿರಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ರೀಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಒಬ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಡಿಯಕ್ಕೆ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನನೀಗ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಸರ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕ ಬೇಡ ಈಗ ಇನ್ನು ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಮಲ್ಲಿದ್ರ ನನ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದಿದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ಎರಡು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಈಗ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರ ನಿನ್ ಕಂ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರ ಓಡಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅದನ್ನ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ರೇನು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಬೇರೆ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಬೇರೆ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಯಾವ ತರ ಇದೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಸಿಟಿ ಹೋಗೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಏನೋ ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ತರೋದು ಮನೇಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆತರ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಇವತ್ತಿಲ್ದೇ ನಾಳೆ ಅದ್ರ ನೋವು ಬರೋ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ವೀಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಬರೋ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಖಂಡಿತ ಮಾಡ್ಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡಿ ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆಗೋದು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ್ದೋ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಕೂಟರ್ ಕಾರ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಏನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇದೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಹಂಗೆ ಓಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಿರ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸೋಮವಾರ ಜನ ನೆಕ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಓಡಿಸಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಕೂಟರ್ ಕಾರು ಹಾಗೇನೆ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಅಂತ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಏನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಬರೀ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಕೆಲವು ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲದೇ ಇರೋರು ಆಟ ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕನ್ನಡ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷು ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಅವರು ನಾವು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅವರು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಾಟಕ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಓಡಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಏನೇನೋ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇತ್ತು ಕಾಲಲ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ರಿಪೇರಿ ನೆಸ್ಟಿ ಇದೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತದೇನಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಮನೆ ಹೋಗಿ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದಷ್ಟೇನೆ ಮಿಕ್ಕವರು ಮಲ್ಲಿರೋರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಅರವತ್ತೇಳರಿಂದ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೇಳು ಎಂಬತ್ತೇಳು ತೊಂಬತ್ತೇಳು ಆಗೋ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಟ್ಬಿಡ್ಬೋದು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಯಾವ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ ಜರ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಲಿಗಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಕಾಲಲ್ಲಿ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಹತ್ರ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ನಾನು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒಪಿನಿಯನ್ ಕೊಡೋದು ತಪ್ಪಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಸದ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಧಾನ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಬಟ್ ರಿಪೇರಿ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ತರ ಆರಾಮ ಇಲ್ಲ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ದುಡ್ಡು ಖರ್ಚು ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ರೀತಿ ತೊಂದರೆಗಳಿಲ್ಲ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಕೂಟ
ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಮೋಗ್ಲೋಬಿನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅವರು ಸುಸ್ತು ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಹಿಮೋಗ್ಲೋಬಿನ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಏನೇನೋ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆ ತರದ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಐರನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಆ ತರ ನಾನ್ ಹೇಳಿದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಫುಡ್ ತಗೋತಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ತಗೋತಿರೋದು ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಐರನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ತರದವ್ರಿಗೆ ಐರನ್ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿರುವಂತ ಫುಡ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬೇಗ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಐರನ್ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಐರನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸೂಲ್ಸ್ ಐರನ್ ಸಿರಪ್ ಐರನ್ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾಗೂ ಅಡಿಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಮಿನರಲ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ವೈಟಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ನೆಸಿಟಿ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರ ಆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಗೊತ್ತಾದಾಗ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಬಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ವೈಟಮಿನ್ ಡಿ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸಿ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ ತರ ಆದಾಗ ಮಿನರಲ್ಸ್ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ನೆಸೆಸಿಟಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಹಾಲು ಹಾಕೋ ಹಾಕೊಡಿ ಎಡಿಬಲ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಗಾರ ಹಾಕೊಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸುಲಾರು ನುಂಗಿ ಊಟ ಜೊತೆನಾರು ತಗೊಡಿ ಅಥವಾ ಊಟ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ವೈಟಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ಫುಡ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾರು ನೋಡಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೆಸಿಟಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂತೀವಲ್ಲ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ರಕ್ಷಣ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಬಹಳ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅದು ನೀವು ಊಟ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ ದೇಹ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಅನ್ಕೋಬೇಡಿ ಸುಮಾ ಥರ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಅದು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಬ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ ಇದೆ ಐರನ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದಾಗ ಐರನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಹತ್ತು ಕೆಜಿ ಐರನ್ ಇರ ತಿಂದ್ರು ಅದೇನು ಒಳಕ್ ಹೋಗಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟೆಷ್ಟು ಬೇಕು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಂ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಐರನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ವೈಟಮಿನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮಿನರಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇಂಟೆಸ್ಟೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಷನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಡಿಸೀಸು ನಾವು ತಗೋತಿದ್ವಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಕಂಪೆಸಿವ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವು ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಚೆ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಕೊಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಫುಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಮೂರನೇ ಸಲ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಊಟ ಬಲ್ಲವನಿಗೆ ರೋಗವಿಲ್ಲ ಏನೇನು ತಿನ್ನಬೇಕು ಏನೇನು ತಿನ್ನಬಾರ್ದು ಎಷ್ಟೆಷ್ಟು ತಿನ್ನಬೇಕು ಎಷ್ಟು ತಿನ್ನಬಾರ್ದು ಅನ್ನೋ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ತಿಂದ್ರೆ ಜಂಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಖಂಡಿತ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಎನಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ನ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹತ್ರ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವೇ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವೈದ್ಯ ಅಂತೀವಲ್ಲ ಬಹಳ ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ಅದು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಸೋಗು ನಾವೇನೇನು ನುಂಗೋದು ಮಾಡದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದಾಗ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದ್ಲು ಶುರು ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಆ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟಿವ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಖಂಡಿತ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾಯಿಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಖಂಡಿತ ಬದುಕಬಹುದು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ತಪ್ಪಾಗುತ್ತೇನೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮನೆ ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾರು ಬಂದ್ರು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಬೇಡ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲೇ ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಇಮ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅವರು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಷ್ಟ ಪಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಇವರು ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅನ್ನೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೂ ನಾವು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲೇ ನಾವೇ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅವಾಗ ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಯಾಕೋ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಪಾಪ ಯಾಕೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆಚೆ ಊಟ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಅಂತ ಕಡಿದ್ವಿ ಬಟ್ ಈಗ ತಿಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಸರ್ ಖಂಡಿತ ನಾವು ಒಪ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಭಾಳ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಸರ್ ಯಾವ ಹೋಟ್ಲ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಸರ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಯಟ್ಟು ಹೈಜೀನಿಕ್
ಇನ್ನು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಆಗಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹರಿಸ್ತ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಗೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಒನ್